Hey there, welcome back to Practical Ninjas. In our last video, we tackled the basics of multiplexers and their configurations. If you haven't caught up on that yet, no worries. Just check the description or the top right corner of your screen for the links. Stick around, we've got more insights coming your way. In this video, we will understand how to create a higher order multiplexer from a lower order multiplexer. But what does this mean? Suppose you want to use an 8 is to 1 multiplexer in your application. However, due to certain constraints, you only have 4 to 1 multiplexer available with you. Remember from our previous discussion that the 8 to 1 multiplexer will require 3 select lines, whereas the 4 to 1 multiplexer will require 2 select lines. We have to control 8 input lines, but a 4 to 1 multiplexer can only help us with 4 inputs. We can use two 4 to 1 multiplexes. Each 4 to 1 multiplexer can control 4 inputs each, but the total number of outputs from these two multiplexes will be 2. However, an 8 to 1 multiplexer provides us with 1 output. So how to obtain the correct output from the 8 inputs using a 4 to 1 multiplexer? If you have seen our previous video, remember that the multiplexer ICs have a strobe line that controls if the multiplexer is on or off. For easier understanding, we'll call this pin as CS, a.k.a. chip select. This is an active low pin. Active low means the corresponding multiplexer is selected when its CS pin is made low or zero. To realize an 8 is to 1 multiplexer using two 4 to 1 multiplexers, connect the components in the following configuration. Here we can see three selector lines A, B, and C. B and C are connected to S1 and S0 of both the multiplexer. A is connected to the CS pin of both the multiplexer. It is connected via A NOT gate to the second multiplexer. The outputs from both the multiplexers are fed to the Boolean or gate. The output of the gate is the final output, Y. As we know, a particular multiplexer is activated when its CS pin goes low. So for all the values of A equal to 0, multiplexer 1 will be active, and for all the values of A equal to 1, multiplexer 2 will be active. If it's clear here, let us compare the output of 8 to 1 multiplexer and the circuit that we have created. The inputs to both setups are I0 through I7. The selector lines are A, B, and C. The output is Y. When A, B, and C are 0, input I0 is selected. We can see that the setup is working as an 8 is to 1 multiplexer for different selector lines. There is one more way to create 8 is to 1 multiplexers using two 4 to 1 multiplexers. But it requires one more 2 to 1 multiplexer. This is the circuit diagram for the setup. Here, B and C are connected to both the 4 to 1 multiplexer. Line A controls the 2 to 1 multiplexer. So depending on the value of these combinations, proper input gets selected. Hope this concept is clear. For revising the concept, Try to create a 16 to 1 multiplexer using 8 is to 1 multiplexer. Also, try to create a 16 to 1 multiplexer using a 4 to 1 multiplexer. Let us know the answers in the comments section below. Thanks for tuning in. If you found value in today's video, consider subscribing to our channel for more exciting content. Sharing is caring, so if you think this video could help someone you know, hit that share button. And we're not done. Your thoughts matter, so leave a comment below. Your feedback keeps us going. Subscribe, share, and comment. The trifecta of YouTube love. See you in the next video.